guys, so if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I am a total China Glaze junkie. I get really into the new collections that come out, and recently for spring there has been a collection that I honestly don't know that I've been more excited about. It's definitely tied with the Up Up and Away collection. I am, oh my god, so excited. I actually bought 10, no, 9 polishes from this collection. I think it was out of 16, so that's, yeah. That's more than half. You know what? We're not going to judge. Um, I think that's how many polishes that were. I could be wrong. I could have bought more. I could have bought less than that. I am so excited. Spring nail polishes are actually my favorite nail polishes to wear. So I went a little crazy. Uh, for the record, if you guys were wondering, I actually bought these all from AT8Booty.com. The polishes are about $30 each. And with shipping, I think shipping came to about... $10 so it's only like a dollar a bottle so again if you add that up that's four dollars a bottle so it's still better than the six to eight that you could find at Sally's Beauty Supply so I personally find that ordering off the wholesale website is perfect if you're ordering I'd say ten to more polishes just because that's how you'll get an actual good deal um, but that's where I order from completely legit so I have an entire video talking about discounted nail polishes kind of makeup sites so if you want to know about any other makeup sites I've personally ordered from I will link that video in the down bar this is from like the B Bahama collection or something like that. It is called Blue Island Iced Tea. And here is the color. It's just a sparkly medium toned blue. I link all the places I look up nail polish swatches online because I spend like 90% of my day looking at nail polish swatches just for kicks. And it's just like a sparkly mid toned sea blue color. I love this one. It's going to look super cute in the springtime. This one is also not part of the collection and it is Stella by Chana Glaze. And this is from the Rodeo collection. It's just a very pretty maroon gold veining purple color. It's just like a very gorgeous like shimmery maroon color for the nails. I'm actually going to start wearing this soon because it's still a winter color. IV or Roman numeral 5 if you're into that. And it's just a really pretty pink peachy color. It's like a pink, but it's really warm tone, and I don't own any warm tone pinks. So it's like a mix between a peachy and a pink. It's like a peachy pink. Um, I think this is going to look so pretty on. It's a nice alternative to a nude because it's going to be a lot more sophisticated than just like a plain white out nude color. This is going to look really, really good on year round. I love this color. Looking up swatches of this, I was just like, oh my god, must buy. Love it. Okay, so now the rest of these polishes are from the Electro Pop collection, and let's start off with this one. This one is in Electric Beat. So Electric Beat is just a very sky blue color. I have a lot of teals and a lot of gray tone blues, but this is a very sky blue color. It's very pretty, a very light pastel. I just think I'm really going to like this. This next one is Aquadelic. And this one, oh no, my nose is running. This one is just a bright aqua color. I'd say this is a lot brighter than China Glaze is for Audrey. This one is just a very straight aqua color. It's not a Tiffany blue. It's not a fussy foam green. It's straight up aqua. I love the color aqua. It's probably one of my favorite colors. Tiffany blue, teal aqua is like that and pink are my jam. And I love this. It's very, This color is basically just like a very, very pale light lavender color. Like a lilac -y color. This next one is in Gothic Lolita. I love that name. And it's just a true purple color. I actually have been straying away from true purples for a while, but this is really pretty. It's got very subtle pink sheen to it. I think this is going to be gorgeous on the nails. I've really started getting into how purples look on other people, and so I've been trying it on myself, and I really love this color. It's just a straight, like, purple. So I think this is going to be really cute to wear, and it's a transitional spring color from wintertime. So this next one is in Make Some Noise. I'm pretty sure this is probably one of my favorite ones. It's just a very bright coral color. It kind of looks like the wall, even though my wall is very, like, a dark, high pink, hot pink. This is a straight up coral color. Coral, I'm obsessed with. I love it. This is going to be so pretty because it's definitely not a red and it's definitely not a pink. It's like a perfect mix of the two and it's going to be so nice to wear during the springtime and I can see it's looking really good with the tan in the summer too. It's just going to be a really good color to wear like actually a lot of the year. I love, love, love this one. So this next one is in Wicked Style and that is just a bright hot pink color. This is actually in real life the exact color of my sheet. It's just a very bright magenta fuchsia color. I love 
love, love, love fuchsias. I think they look really good on basically all skin tones. So this is going to be a universally awesome color to wear. And I don't know, it's like, it's such a basic color, but I actually don't have like a fuchsia that's a totally cream color. And this is going to be so pretty to wear. So this next one is called Dance Baby, and it's just a bubblegum pink color. I love this. This is definitely way more blue toned than something Sweet by China Glaze. It has a little bit of a purple hue to it, but it's such a classic color that I feel like I'd wear it so often. And I have actually have nothing like it. It's actually, I don't know, I think it's a really nice color. It's a very like purpley blue based pink, way more than something Sweet by China Glaze, which I already own. But if you guys want to look up swatches of this one, I think you'll understand what I mean when I say it's like a really like, I don't know, it looks really nice on. It's a really like flattering color and I just... I think this is going to be really, really pretty, and it reminds me of Barbie, and I love Barbie. I have another polish that's not from the Electro Pop Collection, so I actually technically got seven from the Electro Pop Collection, not nine. Okay, well, whatever. This one is in IV, or Roman numeral five, if you're into that, and it's just a really pretty pink peachy color. It's like a pink, but it's really warm tone, and I don't own any warm tone pinks, so it's like a mix between a peachy and a pink. It's like a peachy pink. Um, I think this looks so pretty on. It's a nice alternative to a nude because it's going to be a lot more sophisticated than just like a plain white out nude color. This is going to look really, really good on year round. I love this color. Looking up swatches of this, I was just like, oh my god, must buy. Love it. So that was kind of a fail because I thought I got way more than the Electro Pop Collection than I actually did. I actually got seven from the Electro Pop Collection and only three that were in other collections. One was in like Romance, one was in the, but on the, the Caribbean one, one was in the rodeo one but yes I will link down below where I got these nail polishes so you can get these ones too let's hope they don't sell out sell out because I'm obsessed with them also don't forget to check the down bar to check swatches of this collection I will try and actually leave swatches for every single polish or just of one collection and another collection another collection and all my favorite swatching websites because I find it so much easier to buy nail polish online because you actually see the swatches and you're like hey hey that's what I want okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this and get excited I'll be doing a nail polish collection soon it is actually not going to be very organized in the slightest. In college it's really hard to be sufficiently organized when you own a lot of something. Oh yeah, I really need to go. Bye.